Hey, it's Steve Barcello, Cryptozoology Paranormal Museum. Back out at Medoc Mountain State Park. Happy Independence Day. It's 4th of July. Uh, I wasn't able to get out yesterday. Uh, my duties in the town, and I was stuck directing traffic and putting together a makeshift float for the museum. Uh, it was a cute little parade, though. We do a nice parade in town. But I've been hearing all kinds of stuff coming out of the park lately, and it's been killing me not to get down here. It is buggy. I am covered with bug spray and it's still buzzing me like you wouldn't believe. Hence, I gotta wear a hat. I'm not a big hat person, but uh, it's been crazy. Uh, I, my intent is to get a campsite, but I drove through the campsite and it's packed. <laughs> Literally not a single spot open. Uh, it's muggy, hot today. Not as hot as it has been, but I think it's gonna get a lot hotter. Uh, the bugs are just really bad. I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm dosed and they're still landing on me. And as uh, you guys probably know, I'm uh, dosing myself with antibiotics from a tick bite I got on my back. So I'm trying to stay on trail today. I'm not being too crazy. Uh, as you can hear, there's birds and I'm getting some uh, movement. Sound like deer back over across the stream here. So I doubt I'm going to get anything in this immediate area, but I just wanted to get out here and do some exploring. And I'm still trying to follow up on some of the thermal hits we got a few months ago. Uh, I want to, I'm trying to find the actual location so we can measure the tree and get some height and girth and things like that. But with the foliage grown in, as you can see behind me, uh, I, I can't identify the spot, nor can anyone else right now. So we might get stuck waiting to fall for that. Uh, I'm just going to do a brief hike through here, see what's going on, stop at the ranger station, talk to them. But uh, just wanted to get out. I mean, besides the bugs, I mean, it's a little sticky, a little hot, but man, besides that, it's beautiful here. Let me show you the, pick up the monopod here. Look how low the water is. I avoid every branch because I don't want any more ticks on me. I mean, it's not quite as low as it was last time I was here. But I mean, I mean, literally this area where I am floods, this goes in, I would be standing at least to my shoulders in water. It's a common flooding area here. Look at all the carvings on that tree. You would know, never be able to get to this bench. This bench would be underwater. So let me rotate this thing. Put my glasses away. I know nothing like fancy filming here. I'm not using the dual cam right now. I'll just swing and let you guys see where I'm going. I know the microphone doesn't work that well. A couple of you guys have been telling me, wireless mic. I got some, I just gotta set them up and use them. But look how much this has grown in. I mean, something could be 40, 40, 50 feet over, we'd never know it. You see, this is a very narrow trail. And the reason I'm on this one is I want to keep an eye along the water since this is kind of their, their highway. And I'll be checking myself for ticks like you have no idea. Bug just flopped my nose. Spider web. This place is nonstop. Yeah, I'm hitting lots of spider webs, so no one's been out here this morning. I brought the thermal scope. Nothing's going to do me a lot of good with foliage this deep. Alright, I'm hearing something back here. Just hear movement back here, so I don't want to walk away from it. Like I said, it could be, could be deer, it could be anything. But since I'm the only person out here. Buggy buggy. And this is where we tend to get activity when you're moving around, talking, kind of not oh, great, something bit my back. And uh, kind of off guard. They seem to be comfortable to move and that's when you get that. See? Okay, 
you guys can hear that. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's a... Sort of like off to the races sound. It could be a bug. I first heard it, I thought it was maybe rock clacking, but I think it's a bug. All right, I didn't see any prints on the way in, but then it's been pretty darn dry. So when it's dry like this, it's hard to get any prints. The substrate here is clay. Uh, it would take something incredibly heavy to leave anything. So a little bit of rain we've had hasn't really been enough to soften the earth up. I mean, it's just gonna get the top layer a little bit. And I'm not even seeing any sneaker prints or anything out here. The hat seems to be working, keeping the annoying horse flies off my head. They just love biting the top of my head. Oh, just got buzzed by another one. You see the grass is not super high on the trail, but it's enough. But trust me, I'm gonna be checking myself big time. A little look. As you can see, I'm staying on trail. We have folks that come in, they do a lot of baiting in this area. They've been good about picking up all the uh, remnants of their skippy peanut butter jars and stuff. It's common to see little ribbons tied up out here. Once again, I'm here moving back where I was. Let me just try the thermoscope quick. I'm not picking up anything obvious on it. I really gotta pay attention for snakes too. Okay, I was hearing the sounds back here. Now it just made noises over here. I don't see any deer. Not that I would be able to see anything very far. The weird thing is almost something's following me. Deer generally won't follow me. I'm gonna use the thermal again, see if I can see any heat back there. Is back behind me over here. Hear a conversation and wonder if but that's coming up the trail from here. So I doubt that's what I was hearing back there, but you never know. 